Hi, welcome to What's Up Special. In this special feature, we will bring you an insight into the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup and take a look behind the scenes of this spectacular event. The Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup was originally known as the Singapore Gold Cup. It is the longest running feature race in the Singapore racing calendar. Let's take a journey down the memory lane to find out more about this race. Originally known as the Singapore Gold Cup, the inaugural race was first run at Farrell Park Racecourse in 1924. With prize money of $1,600, the race continued there for nine years until the racecourse became inadequate due to the club's growing requirements. The last Gold Cup to be held at Farrell Park was in 1932, and it was the only time that the race was run over 2,400 metres. When the club moved to Bukit Timah Racecourse in 1933, the Gold Cup remained there till 1999. There was no race run for six years from 1942 to 1947 due to World War II. Racing resumed only in late 1947 when the war was over and after two years of rehabilitation of the place. When the Bukit Timah facilities was closed, the race was once again moved to the new Kranji race course and remained till today, shortly after the shift to Kranji premises in 1999. Singapore Triple Crown Series was introduced. Inspired by the prestigious Triple Crown in the United States, the Singapore edition followed the same three-leg model. The original series comprised of Raffles Cup, Queen Elizabeth II Cup, and the Singapore Gold Cup. In its current form, the series now comprised of the Panasonic Crunchy Mile, the Raffles Cup, and the Crown Jewel of the Three Lakes, the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup. In the Singapore Gold Cup history, there were only two horses which had won the title thrice, three rings in 1954, 1956 and 1957. And in more recent times, El Dorado in 2008, 2009 and 2011, Till today, these records remain unbroken. One of Singapore's well-known trainer, Ivan Willem Allen, holds the record for the most number of Singapore Gold Cups won. A total of nine victories to his name. And Jerry Sung holds the record for owners on five successes. Singapore Gold Cup is the longest running feature race on the Singapore racing calendar. In 2010, Swiss watchmaker Long Jean embarked on a landmark partnership with the Singapore Turf Club and since then, it's became the official partner and timekeeper of the club. The Singapore Gold Cup had also since been renamed Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup. The Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup is considered the most prestigious races on the Singapore racing calendar, open to Group 1 locally trained horses aged 3 and above. The handicap race is run over a distance of 2,200 meters with a prize money of $1.35 million. It is one of the richest races in Singapore Turf Club. There were many important guests and international celebrities who had graced the event over the years. The first ever presidential visit by the late President Wee Kim Wee, former President S.R. Nardin, and President Tony Tan, all the guests of honor also presented check donations to charitable organizations during the event. Since Long Jin partnership with Singapore Turf Club, the event also saw a string of star-started Long Jin ambassadors such as Aaron Kwok, Ashwara Rai and Eddie Peng. In conjunction with the event, Long Jin had also hosted fundraising activities for charity. Long Jin Singapore Gold Cup is one of the most prestigious races and a major event at the Singapore Turf Club. Preparation had already started weeks before the event. Banners and signage were put up and trailer videos were broadcast to promote the Gold Cup and the activities on the day itself. Four days before the race, post position draw took place at the Singapore Turf Club to determine the barrel gate number each contender would get. The staff had prepared the room earlier in the day and got ready all the things needed for the draw. Items were arranged neatly, information checked and rehearsals conducted. Soon, the room was filled up with familiar faces and the draw finally took place. 
Welcome along to the barrier draw for the Longjin Singapore Gold Cup. This weekend marks the sixth anniversary and the sixth instalment of the Longjin Singapore Gold Cup. After the draw, all the owners and trainers mingle around and enjoy a good time together. Short interviews were also conducted with some of the trainers. That same day, several staff from various departments wasted no time and came together to conduct rehearsals for the Gold Cup prize presentation and charity check presentation. Each one took on the role of a specific guest and everyone practiced the whole process for both the dry and wet weather. A day after the draw, the track talk program was recorded in the studio. The crew set up the backdrop, adjusted the lights and check all the necessary equipment. After the presenters prepared and put on their wireless microphones, everyone was ready to roll. Welcome along. The, the big day is almost uh, with us. The uh, Longjin Singapore Gold Cup for 2015 coming up on uh, Sunday afternoon. What a big day of racing is going to be, the first at 1pm. The weekly programme gave a preview of the upcoming race and was broadcast prior to the race on Singapore Race Day. With the draw conducted and the barrel gate numbers confirmed, the programme also updated and presented all this latest information about the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup to our viewers. The Triple Crown is on the line here for a step it up and has drawn in gate number one so gets a perfect opportunity to uh, become the first horse to, uh, to win the Triple Crown. Keshwar is uh, horse number two in Fastnet Dragon. So let's flip over the page, have a look at Martin who's uh, probably one of the real roughies in this perfect P going well uh, down to uh, Seabros and Trapeus.